Hi, in this video we will be covering snapshots. The feature has been overhauled for Scrivener 2. As before, you can take a snapshot of the state of any document within Scrivener by going to Documents, Snapshots, Take Snapshots of Selected Documents, or by pressing Command 5. Previously, snapshots were kept in a separate window, but now when you go to Show Snapshots, it will open them up in the inspector. I can easily switch to other inspector functions down here, or press this button to get back to snapshots. The asterisk denotes that there is a snapshot associated with the document displayed in the editor. There is a list of snapshots presented at the top of the inspector where I can edit the name if I wish. If I now make some changes to the document, delete a word here, a sentence, add some text, add more text, and format an area. Then take another snapshot by pressing Shift Command 5 so I can immediately add a title to my snapshot. Whilst making more edits to the document, I realise that I'm heading in completely the wrong direction and want to revert back to a former version. I can do this by selecting the relevant snapshot and pressing Roll Back. I will be prompted to take another snapshot, but I'm positive that I do not want to keep this version of the document. Out of curiosity, or maybe to see what an editor has changed, you might want to compare this document version to the original. This is easily done. I have the current version in the editor, the original displayed in the inspector, and I just hit compare. It will not show any formatting changes, purely text changes, but it will vividly denote where text changes have been made. Red with a strike through shows a deletion, anything blue and underlined has been added. Incidentally, these colours are customisable by going to Scrivener, Preferences, Appearance, Snapshots. Back to the inspector. If I click on Original, it will take me back to the snapshot. Back in Compare mode, if I hold down the Option key, it will allow me to reload the Compare feature. This obviously comes in useful if I had carried on making changes to the current document in the editor. The arrow buttons cycle through the differences. Another feature of snapshots, if we split the editor and drag one of the snapshots to the header, I can view that snapshot in the split. This is read only. If I hold the option key down whilst dragging the snapshot to the header, it will compare. The next and previous changes are mapped to control command square bracket so I can flick through the changes whilst in the bottom editor. I can also simply take snapshots by pressing the plus button at the top of the inspector. And, as a final flurry, I can even compare snapshots against each other rather than against the current document. I select two snapshots and press compare. OK, that was an introduction to the new and improved snapshots. If more detailed information regarding this feature is required, it can be found in the manual. Cheers.